Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is full of cleaning motivation. We are talking 25 minutes straight of cleaning. I had so much cleaning I needed to get done on this particular day, and I thought I'd just bring the camera along with me to give you guys some motivation. So if you find this motivating, leave a comment down below or let me know if you're cleaning right along with me. This video is full of energizing music to clean right along right along too. So feel free to get some cleaning done as you watch. But I hope you enjoy this and let's begin. Who here loves folding sheets? They are so unbelievably cumbersome and this one was just not cooperating for me but as you can see I'm beginning my cleaning in my bedroom I'm starting off by folding this basket of clothes which has been sitting in my bedroom for about three days straight I figured it was time it was over time to finally tackle that basket so once I finish folding those clothes putting them away I'm gonna move on to making my bed dusting and finally vacuuming before moving on to my bathroom but I'll try to keep my speaking parts to a minimum in today's video just to give you guys some time to enjoy the motivating music. Moving on to dusting and I'm starting with my nightstands. I love to first go over the tabletop surfaces with a Swiffer duster to collect all of the dust and then I'll wipe it down with either a multi-surface cleaner or since my nightstands are mirrored I'm using Windex to get them all nice and shiny and then I'll also wipe down the decorative objects. I'm gonna do the same thing over on my husband's nightstand and then move on to the wall mirror and give that a good cleaning as well. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think. the phone. 
Finally, I'm going to vacuum my bedroom, but first things first, I wanted to do some dusting behind the nightstands because I noticed that some dust had accumulated on the windowsill and also on the baseboards, which honestly does not take long for dust to accumulate at all. So I'm gonna take care of that. I'm just using the vacuum wand to vacuum up all that dust and then I'll proceed to vacuum the carpet before moving on to my bathroom. So lots more cleaning motivation to come. Now to clean the dreaded bathroom. Does anyone else dread cleaning the bathroom as much as I do? It is my least favorite room to clean, but it definitely needs to be maintained and kept up. So since this is my dreaded space, I like to break it down into a couple days of cleaning. So I already spent part of the day before cleaning, giving the shower a thorough cleaning as well as the toilet. So today was more just surface cleaning, cleaning the mirror, the countertops, the cupboards, the outside of the cupboards, that kind of thing. But I don't know, I just find that bathrooms are so tedious to clean, especially given the amount of cleaning that or the amount of detailing that I personally like to do to get it to my expectation of a clean bathroom. But once it's all said and done, it is the absolute best feeling to walk into a nice, freshly cleaned bathroom. So as you can see, I'm tackling the countertops, giving them a good wipe down, and then I'm gonna move on to the sinks. And I wanted to mention that my favorite product to use to get rid of any hard water deposits or rust stains in the sink is the Barkeeper's Friend. I find that this is the best product for, especially if you have well water, which we personally have well water, and it leaves kind of a yellowish orange residue in, in sinks and also the toilet bowl. So I find that this is the best product to get rid of those stains. Stuck in an endless fight like every night It still feels right Ooh. Even the words can stay I want to change a thing Cause without you Lots of dusting and wiping down surfaces. Now, my bathtub didn't need a thorough cleaning because it had not been used since it last been 
cleaned however dust still accumulates so i wiped it down with a good multi-surface cleaner and then i'm going to rinse it out before moving on to cleaning my shower doors and i wanted to give a little tip of advice for the shower doors if you have glass doors like we do you must this is an absolute must to prevent water stains on your doors is to use a squeegee so every time you take a shower pull out that squeegee and squeegee those doors before you even get out of the shower we do it just about every single time that we shower and i have to say our doors are pretty much spot free and i just for me I learned from experience in our last house that was something that we did not do and I remember our doors had hard water deposits on them which really aggravated me and it was so hard to get those hard water deposits off so when we moved into this house I knew I wanted to do things better so definitely invest in a squeegee I think the one that I use I got believe I purchased it from the dollar store and it just works so well to clean those windows so a little bit of work goes a long ways and I know I'm saying this to you guys I'm sure some of you probably already do this and you're like I, I already know that for, for those who are hearing that for the first time I cannot express enough how beneficial it is to squeegee those doors so last but not least i'm going to wipe down the toilet with some disinfectant wipes as i said i already cleaned the toilet bowl so i did not need to address that today but that is going to be it for the bathroom then i'm moving on to some vacuuming i'm going to be vacuuming my upstairs landing and staircase as well as dusting she While I was vacuuming, I decided to go ahead and dust the stair treads because I noticed they needed it. I find that using the vacuum wand to dust the stair treads works a lot better than simply using my Swiffer duster. I feel like the dust stays away for a longer period of time. But for those who are interested, I thought I'd give an update on the vacuum. If you follow my channel, then you know this is a more recent purchase within the last three months. And I've been using it a lot since I got it and I still am loving it. I love that it's lightweight. It's a little more compact than my other shark vacuum, but I find that the suction of this vacuum is very intense, which I like. I also like that it is a hairless, or how do you call it? The roller, it's the kind of roller that doesn't have bristles, so the hair is not going to get trapped around the roller. So I find that very beneficial. Just overall, I'm loving this vacuum. The It is a little more compact, so it's not gonna store as much dirt and debris as my other Shark vacuum, but that's fine. I don't mind that at all. I just love how lightweight it is. It's so easy to carry around. And I also like that, you know, both vacuums I own are Shark vacuums, and it seems like the attachments are interchangeable because I was able to use the brush attachment from my older Shark vacuum, on this newer shark vacuum so anyways i just thought i'd give an update for those who are interested and i'll i'll have the vacuum link down below for anyone who is looking you know they're researching different vacuums that way you can look this one up and see if this is one that you might be interested in
moving right along next i'm going to tackle my family room by fluffing the pillows which my couch looked like a complete disaster. I'm going to take those seat cushions and the speaker that came from the patio. I'm gonna go store those things. I'm not sure how they made their way into the family room, but I had a lot of dusting I needed to do as well. So I'm going to dust the fireplace mantle and the bookcases. But for those of you who follow my channel, if you saw my last video, the thrift store shop with me, you can see a couple of the items that I purchased here in my family room, such as the olive tree. I also have that little marble slash wood decor item sitting out on my, my um, ottoman. But if you missed that video, I'll have it linked above because it was I was so surprised at all of the little gems I was able to find at my local Goodwill. A whole lot better Now that the family room is nice and clean, I'm moving on to the kitchen. But first I had to share a glimpse of my dogs because I know so many of you enjoy seeing them in my videos and aren't they just the cutest? My oldest son was giving them a treat, which is why he has their absolute undivided attention. But before tackling the kitchen, I wanted to wipe down the windows of my door wall because they had a lot of fingerprints and little dog nose print smudges. So I'm giving them a good cleaning. I wanted to point out this spider web you can see when I go outside to clean the outside of the windows, there was this long spider web that was hanging down that I kind of walked right into, which gave me serious heebie-jeebies because I just do not like spiders. But once I finish cleaning these windows, I'm going to move on to wiping down my dining room table and then give the cleaning or give the kitchen a good wipe down and take care of those dirty dishes. You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? I don't know. No one ever showed me I've been on my own for too long. But if you hold me now, let me into your heart. Maybe I can start to love again and tend to my scars. Can you show me how? Can you love me with the
lots of dirty dish cleaning motivation for you right here. I had a whole sink full to tackle, and then I'm gonna move on to hand washing my silverware or my eating utensils, however you wanna say it, because I purchased some gold ones, which I've been wanting to do for a long time now. I found a really nice set from Sam's Club that I thought I would give a try. It wasn't too pricey, but I'm so worried about putting it in the dishwasher. So I'm, to play it safe, I'm washing them by hand, which is a pain, but if it means keeping them from tarnishing, it's worth it. But the box says it's dishwasher safe. I'm just too afraid to try it. But I'd love to hear from any of you guys. If you have gold utensils, is it, are you able to put them in the dishwasher or do you find that it just tarnishes the silverware? Let me know down in the comments what your experience has been, but I have to say, I know I said it already, but I'm loving the new gold silverware. It just makes my, you know, whenever I'm eating, it just looks it looks better. I can't think of a better, can't think of a word. It's more aesthetically pleasing, I guess I would say, but so far I'm really liking it. While the silverware is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my countertops using the Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose cleaner. And I wanted to give a quick update about my Caraway cookware set. If you follow my channel, then you, you may recall I received this set several months ago and I just thought I'd give an update. And I'll try to get update you guys as time goes on about my experience with the Caraway set. But I have been using it nonstop these past few months and I, I'm still absolutely loving it. I'm so impressed with the performance. I definitely follow the care instructions carefully. I don't put it in the dishwasher. I wash it by hand. I think the only con I would say about my particular set being that it's white on the exterior is that the white does tend to stain kind of easily. So I'm really careful that if anything splashes on the exterior, I wipe it away really quickly to prevent any staining. But that would be the only con about this white set. Other than that, I, again, I'm so impressed with the performance. So I just thought I'd give an update for those of you who might be interested in, in the Caraway cookware. I'm kind of tempted to purchase one of their newer sets. I saw that they came out with some bakeware that I'm interested in, and then they came out with a brand new Care our limited edition cookware set that actually has gold handles, which is so gorgeous. I kind of wish that was available when I got mine, but I'll have my link down below for 10% off your entire order if you use that link. I know some of you have been asking questions for an update, so I just thought I would bring it up again because I do know this is, you know, kind of an investment piece with this cookware so you don't want to you know jump and go buy it you want to kind of know if it's a good set so I can honestly say from my personal experience so far I am loving it That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you gained a lot of motivation. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you're new, but I hope you guys have an awesome, a wonderful, a beautiful day, and I will see you in my next one. Take care. I don't want nobody else around, so don't